So traditionally, uh, high-risk MDS and, and AML have always been separated uh, by the, the blast count, so above or below 20% uh, blast in the bone marrow. And uh, so this has been a debate for quite some time already. And we, in our studies, we focused on uh, TP53 mutant, uh, high-risk MDS and AML to basically answer this question for this subtype of, of high-risk uh, MDS and AML. And so we, we did the analysis in, in 230 uh, of those cases. And since in the whole clinical trials, we include high-risk MDS among the AML cases, and uh, therefore we were able to uh, answer this question. So we compare the high-risk uh, cases with the AML cases, both uh, TP53 mutated, and we could not find any clinical differences between the two, any molecular differences between the two. And uh, importantly, if you look at outcome, uh, they both have a dismal outcome. So also the high-risk MDS cases with blast counts below 20% still have a very poor outcome, similar as AML with uh, TP53 uh, mutant. So we then consider this actually as one disease. So there's no difference between high risk and, and AML in case of TP, mutant TP53. And we tried to answer another question, and that was, is there a difference between mono and biallelic uh, mutant TP53? So we took the whole set of, of patients and there we could also not uh, see a difference. So there were earlier studies in which they showed in MDS that uh, monoallelic TP53 did better than biallelic, but we could not um, show this in AML. So it, apparently in AML it's different than in MDS. And in fact, the same group did these analyses in AML and they also could not find a difference. So there's no difference between mono and biallelic mutant TP53 in case of, of AML. Uh, uh, high risk MDS. And, and also if you look at, at, at other characteristics, so uh, multiple TP53 mutations or the co-mutations in these cases, there's no, um, absolutely no differences in, in outcome. Uh, so all dismal, very poor outcomes for all these cases. And uh, the, uh, the biallelic status, which is present in, in three quarters of all these patients, is very strongly associated with complex carrier type. And um, so apparently biallelic mutations confer an, an uh, instability in the genome. And if we look at the whole group, it seems that patients that do not carry a complex carrier type do slightly better, but this is only a small group. And if you look at the outcome of these patients, it's also still poor. So the answer to your question uh, is there's no difference between TP53 mutant high-risk uh, MDS and um, TP53 mutant AML.